Go to the tools panel of Affinity Designer and then go and create a circle. I could create another shape, star, etc. doesn't matter. Then go to the appearance panel and you'll find that in the view menu, studio and appearance. And you can see there I've got a stroke and I've got 400 points. Fairly large size, but 400 points. And also what I'm going to click there and I can go to the dashes, dash styles, and you can vary it. So instead of there, I can just go to phase of zero and you can maybe go for one and one. One and one there. And you can see you can create a variety of maybe 0 0.5. So 0 0.5 and 0 0.5, just, just vary it to create all kinds of different designs. But what also you need to do is make certain you've got the cap. I'm going with the second option, join first option, and for a line, I'm going for the third option. And you can, of course, vary the order as well. Doesn't make any difference, but just sort of pointed out, you can change that if you want. Okay, now what I want to do is duplicate. So I'm just going to duplicate it. Now I'm going to go with the same color at this point, just red, but I want to change it. So I want it to be blue or another color, green, whatever. Now, sometimes it will not respond. <laughs> you click it a few times, eventually it will appear. And also 400, keep it 400. But also you can go down here and you can turn around to the phase and you can vary the other settings if you want as well. But I'm going to put one in there for the phase or two. And if you don't see anything, you can always, of course, put in 0 0.5. Just try it. Just vary the settings until you get something that you quite like. I'm happy with that. So 0 0.5, 0 0.5 and phase 0 0.5. Doesn't have to be obviously integer numbers. So now what I can do, I can now add another one. So I'm just going to go here and right click again and duplicate. Now, of course, it defaults to the blue and I'm going to go for well, again, it will respond eventually. Green, don't know why it does that. It does seem sometimes on Affinity Photo, Affinity Design, you can click it and you can click it five, 10 times. It just doesn't respond. Very odd. However, again, click there and you can then change that. Maybe go for a 0 0.7, just so it's slightly different. And it doesn't have to be equal. You can just experiment again, always experiment. And again, you can set these if you want to go, say 0 0.7, just change them. And you can see you can get a variety of different designs. You don't have to have them all equal. You can try for that if you want, of course. So once you've done that, maybe I'm just going to go for another one. Just one more. So duplicate. And this time I'm going to go for, I'm running out of colours, obviously. Yellow. Let's go for yellow. And this time, click again here, 400 points. And then I'm going to go for phase 1.2. And then sometimes you might find you don't have any of the blues or something left. So you, you might think, oh, I've done it wrong. 0.8. And again, vary these, you maybe go for 0 0.7, and you can just experiment, 0 0.3. But what you can also do, quite useful, is you've got blend modes. So you can always change that. So maybe go, you know what, difference, and you can get a variety of them, then go to this one, click there, and you don't have to use difference all the time, you can use exclusion. Just go through them, just try different ones, overlay, whatever. Some will work, some better than others. Click there. And again, run through those, difference there, and so on and so on. You can create a variety of different things and you might find that it, nothing really changes. In fact, actually nothing seems to change at all with that one. And obviously it doesn't matter with that one. So you've got your design there. And of course you can always then right click there at the top and duplicate again. And you've got added another one there. And again, 400, click there. And this time I'm gonna go with say 0 0.9. And you can see you get a variety of different designs there. And again, Let's go for another. And this is, I'm just experimenting. I don't know. I don't know what the results I'm going to get. So like I say, this one, blue or whatever, orange. I'm using yellow there. Maybe go for a different color, maybe green, sky blue. And you can vary. Obviously, you just run through those, you know, change it. Just see what you get. Yeah, that looks nice. And you've got this design. Now, of course, what you can also do, once you've got this lovely, colorful design, you can always vary things. You can always go through these and change them if you don't want 400. But you can also go to View Menu and Studio and Styles, and you can always then save it. So you can always got, you can see the styles there. And I can go to the right side menu, and then I've got the layers by accident there, Styles, right side menu, Add Style from Selection. And then you can see it's been added there. You've got a nice colorful design. And of course you can apply it then to another shape. 
So what you can now do, once you've got this design, you can then use this maybe in Affinity Photo. If you've got Affinity Photo, of course. If you haven't got Affinity Photo, you can't. But you can always go, and I'm going to do this in the next video, but I'm just going to show you. You can go to File and Edit in Photo, and you can use it there, and you can create great designs, combine them. Maybe go to Symbols, maybe create this as a symbol. Well, hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.